Are we having waffles? Are we having waffles? Nice. I wish I just kept the camera on then. She literally just said mama. Said mama. Said mama. No, say mama. I just missed it. Say mama. 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 That. No, no, don't you try and get in there now. Say mama. Mama. Oh my, I can't believe I just missed it. Mia. Check mama. I put it in here in hopes of that she says it. Mama. Nope. See eating waffle. Making a mess. Hmm? I had no idea that there was an and other stories in Manchester. So I'm forcing some of this to go in there with me. I'm so jealous of Manchester. We need one in Sheffield. Hi. So guys, whilst I'm here, I'm just trying to find that cardigan, the colour block one that I've been eyeing up for ages. So I managed to grab it here, and then it'll save me on shipping. <laughs> so that's my uh, thought process right now. So guys, first time being in the change room in a while. Sorry, I'm in the one right next to the speaker. Just trying a couple of things on, so I thought I'd show you. I'm trying on this black t-shirt first. Um, the material of it's really nice. So, I think this one is definitely one that I'm gonna pick up. I just really like the fit of it. Um, so yeah, the first one is the winner. I know, why am I trying on knitwear? But, I'd pick this up, but, I don't think it looks right. Next up is this and you know what, I actually really like it. I love the material, it's actually darker than what's coming up on camera. It's got like a little belt, it's a nice little cardigan. this cardigan this is a large I think it's the only size I've got left but I think even for me it might be too big although I quite like the oversizedness I'm not sure I've got a feeling I might regret it if I leave this one behind I don't know what to do I don't know what to do so guys I'm home now I actually just showed Marcus what I picked up mine and other stories I ended up going for the cream cardigan that you saw me try on and also the like would you say this is khaki or brown brown right brown come on let's go right yes marks and i are also going out to get some dinner we're for tonight now. yes we're going now we're going now and i'll catch up with you guys Bye. when we get back guess who's back hi baby you had a long day at your cousin's house nope she is like bye see ya we have just picked me up we're just grabbing a couple of snacks because oh i said snacks like some under roll prata roll because oh we don't have anything made at home and yeah we don't have the energy to make anything right now i don't think i saw the vlog off sorry i was in manchester i just went for a day out with my friend the place we went to was sunset by australasia which is like the second restaurant more of like a casual brunch place it was nice but it wasn't very filling and it's like obviously it's expensive and not filling so that wasn't like i wouldn't mind of paying for it if it was like a bit more moreish like i don't know it was a bit more filling but it wasn't i I'll, I'll probably would try australasia the restaurant for like an evening dining experience because i think their sushi was nice but yeah oh not not like raving about it or anything then we just had a quick look in town manchester to town but then my friend had to go so we had to cut that short and obviously you guys saw i tried on bits and other stories i don't know how i've been to manchester so many times and never realized that they have an and other stories store there like i was on the hunt for you in that block colored cardigan that i've shown you guys so many times before because i was just like that is perfect i can save on shipping 
and I can scrub that but they didn't have that they already had the one that I already have so I ended up picking up a couple of other bits but I will probably pluck up the courage at some point and order that cardigan when Marcus isn't looking and yeah that was it really I'm gonna go home and get some work done I've got some editing which I was a little bit I kind of can't bother to do but hopefully it shouldn't take me too long so I'm gonna have to get that done and then we will be down for the night it's Marcus's cod night tonight so I don't have to rush it's not like we're having romantic time is it well, we don't have romantic time when I'm not on cod. That's true. Look at this child, please. Get down, child. There's that. So I'm going to get my editing done today so I'm not worrying about it tomorrow and then I can focus on any other work that I have left. Um, oh, turn that off. There we go. And then tomorrow I can sort of schedule. I'm going to use tomorrow's all to schedule and plan out my following week. Um, and just have a bit of filming to do then too. And... That's all there is to catch up girl with you at the moment, I think. And I'll let you know if there's anything else. Uh, oh, but this card again, I've had a one on Instagram. I've had a lot of questions about it. It's really nice. got like a little split. I'll show you properly a little bit later. But uh, I've linked it on my 21 Buttons account. So I'll leave the link down below. And you'll be able to shop it. It's such a beautiful cardigan. It's quite new in. Whoa. So by the time you guys see the vlog, you should be able to get your hands on hey. it. I love it. Well guys, we are back now. Just picked up some food. Uh, I've got some kate alu. I've got a kima toasty. got some kadori chart. got some golga bit. But they've given like some sort of syringe thing to pop that in a golga bit. Which is a really cool idea. And then I've got a couple of rolls for us to have as well. But that is so cool. Of course, we've got some dessert. I had to force Marcus to let me buy these, but... There wasn't much forcing. And then we've got a pink tea and a karak chai as well. So we're having like a little snacky evening. Hi guys. Happy Sunday when you're seeing this Saturday today. Yeah. And I look really weird because my eye will not stop watering. I think it's because there's something in there and that my eye is trying to flush it out because I can feel it. But Marcus and I spent like how long this morning? Marcus? The rhinos. Oh, you can see the rhinos. We've come to the safari park. We spent quite a while trying to sort my eye out. It just isn't, so my makeup keeps like getting ruined. So I'm just gonna have to try my best with it, but it's very annoying. Um, I did my makeup and then it messed oh, up. Was it zebra? Where? Oh, God, there. Oh, it looks everywhere. very busy already. Oh. So we've Mucho come to cool. West Midlands Safari Park. This is one that we've mentioned to you guys before in the vlogs because which one's the one that we went to? We went to the Safari Park we went and. When we went Nosley, so many people was DMing saying, come here, you get to feed the animals, it looks sick. So we thought oh, we were going to come when the weather was nice. Yeah. But then opted against it because I saw how busy it was. So I thought, let's go when the weather's poop. Like not as good, yeah. And hopefully it'll be quieter and we'll get to see more of the animals and stuff. But we're currently stuck in traffic to even get through the gates. So maybe you just kind of come whenever you feel like going. Yeah, I mean, I have a, a couple, well, um, to someone that I know. in like an hour, one yeah. thing that we didn't check. Yeah. Someone that I know has been before and said there's like standstill traffic, so I'm hoping that it won't be like that. Yeah, it's just Marcus and I and me today because, well, we had some little families, but quite spontaneous. We literally spoke about it towards bedtime last night. Oh, big cues, man. That's trash, that. Oh, look, the rhinos are fighting. <gasps> they are fighting. Oh, this is so cool. I'm going to show you guys. You'd have to wait. Oh. Oh, it looks like, did you look like that guy's moving now? He's like, you're not coming to my car. In that mental, what if one does like, I think it's highly unlikely, but if they charged at the car. I think uh, it's uh, on you, innit? Yeah, it and would be. I don't be. think it's something that your insurance is going to cover either. No, we have bought bits to try and feed the animals, like food. They're going to give us the food, not our own food. <laughs> We're not doing, is it you'd a jay? Like, Who's yeah, in between us, you'd, you'd, you'd have to say your car was like parked up outside your house and it was a hit and run and hope there was no like horn fragments in like your door or something. <laughs> the insurance. Who was it in between us that's feeding burgers to the dolphins? Neil. Neil, yeah, we've not done any Neil. It's not our own food. You can buy food here to feed the animals. Mia's just woke up from an hour. Oh. You missed that, that was a proper little... Stop filming me, mom. Oh, look at you, baby girl. So, everyone's got like the kids on their lap open to get... Oh my God, look at this. Oh, can you see it was... Oh, it's the middle of the road. I'll show you guys when we get closer to the animals, but we just had to wake Mia up because she had quite a long nap to show... <gasps> Are you ready? She loves animals, so we're so excited to see her reaction. Are we going to feed the animals? 
Um, as it, it says when you come in, it takes two hours to get for up to two hours to get through the safari. Yeah. And I think that's purely because of how slow everyone moves. If you've been nosely safari park before, you move so much quicker and you can oh still you can still stop and chill and stuff. But here it's just manic. Let you me show you this guy. And now, look, pop a head in. I know, look. Is it coming? Don't so. Oh. <laughs> You like it, Keeves? This is so cool, you guys. A zebra. Look, zebras. Right by the, right by the You want to see the giraffes? Like, it's actually quite gentle, you know. And just eat, and they actually really, they give you wipes as well. So it's quite good. <laughs> hi. Hi. Say hi. Hi. Hi to zebras. You see the zebras? We're gonna go see rhinos as well in a second. Let's just give it a minute so I'm not getting soaked. I got a cloth at the back of the seat. I have like a cleaning cloth. Is it there? Getting excited. We've had some animals like try to poke their head in the car. The antelopes. Oh look, the rhinos. Oh look, a baby rhino. Oh, yeah. oh, oh cute. baby rhino. I've never seen a baby rhino. No, well, they said it was new, didn't it? Oh, oh that'll be why the other one was getting aggressive. Probably, maybe it was something to do with that. Oh yeah, yeah. David Attenborough's back in the car. <laughs> Just going past the rhinos, so cool! Like how close you get to be to them with them. Oh, look at that memes! Wow! <gasps> look over there. Give me some food. Okay, get it. It's their meals, got it. Say, say hi. Say hi. Okay, say bye, Mia. The lions. Hi! Some food! I reckon you can feed them. Oh, they're not interested. Oh, they don't want your food. Mia's getting so excited seeing all of these animals. Eh? Hey, come on, let's pick you up. The way. Mia, oh! I've got an elephant. <laughs> right, cool, you got to feed a drawer. Okay, last bit, last bit. Ah, I'm here, look! I'm about to buy more nectar pots because it's so cool. Oh, hello! Mark is like, oh, it's on my head! Oh, it's on my head! <laughs> Guys, Mia did so well with the birds. Honestly, at first Mia had a bit of a fright because the guy said they'll jump on you straight away because you get nectar pots that you buy and you can feed them. So like, okay, that's fine. But we did not expect them for, for them to come straight and they literally, as soon as we step through the doors, all the birds jumping on our heads, on our shoulders, and it like startled her. But then she was in there for wow. a while and then she fed them and she was just so good with it. Oh, wow, wow, wow. It's a python. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Pizza <-ia. laughs> Italian. Why is he? Why have you gone Italian? <laughs> so Marcus and I always have like memories of being able to go home with like a little stuffed animal from like zoos and stuff. Well, I did. Remember, I said I used to get like them little monkeys. So we no, but we're gonna try and see if we're gonna force me <laughs> to have a toy. Oh, nearly fell. Uh, first parents ever will probably force their child to have a toy. Do you want a teddy? Which one? A bear! Should we get you the giraffes look really cute? I think we should. Because she's got bears and stuff at home, hasn't she? 15 quid. Huh? 15 quid. 15 pounds? Maybe if she's not bothered, we don't get one. <laughs> Let's look at the giraffes though, because they're really cute. Literally just showed me the giraffe and said, Do you want it? And she shook her head saying no. Which is fine because she's just saved us 30 quid, so. I love all of like the hand and body stuff from here.
I do actually need some more welcome backs for around the house. Welcome mats, should I say. So, let's see if I can find any cute ones. But if not, Donnell might actually normally has some quite good ones. So I'll have a look here. I maybe go to Donnell another day if I don't find any. So guys, I'm actually back to look for a basket because I want one for my dressing room. And these guys have the best selection. So hopefully I can find one. Let me show you. Oh my god, this is literally for baskets for your dreams. Now I want one to keep under like you know the console table that I've got in the dressing room so I can keep my makeup there. Otherwise Mia just takes hold of it. So preferably one with a lid. I've got a basket, but it's quite small and there are bigger ones for the same size, but I don't need a bigger one, so I'm gonna stick with that. This has really turned from a quick run into almost a basket full. Oops. Guys, I think I've picked up candles that basically smell all the same. But I just love the smell of them. I'm so ready for pumpkin season. Here I am. There we go. Have the fire on and a cosy home sense haul. Hi guys, I just got back in. I don't know, I've literally worn this mask the entire Also, look at my eye. It does not stop watering and if you guys have me on instagram you will have seen this and uh, it's like day three now and i thought it got better but it obviously hasn't um so i can't even wear makeup it really ruins it i don't know if it's a block tear duct or what it is a lot of people message me saying they have the same um so to spare you watching me look like i'm crying when i'm not um i'm just gonna film the home since whole like facing away because i have like two bags to show you so mark has taken me out for the day to go see his friends and I really wanted to go home since he wasn't sure if he was going to go and then last minute in the morning he said he was going to go so then I had a planned relaxed shopping day all planned out in my head but obviously had to change that so I had to do a quick one and yeah this is we will quickly show you what I had because I still had a birthday voucher left so I didn't spend that day I wasn't sure whether, I, whether I'd already used it but I hadn't so I'm glad <laughs> that I hadn't used it and it took some money off for me. Delve right in. So, first thing I picked up was a Himalayan pink salt lamp. I've wanted one of these for ages, I think mainly for the bedroom. They're supposed to be really like calming and zen. And also, I think as time goes on, the salt actually erodes away and it actually, like the salt particles are what... Oh, I don't know if I'm explaining this right. But anyways, it does shrink, I think, as time goes on. But they are supposed to be really good for, like, relaxing and stuff. And because I've got, like, the pink frames in my bedroom, I thought this would look quite nice, you know, under the TV. Just to put on at night time if I don't... Obviously, I usually have candles on, but if I didn't want to put a candle on, then, like, this could be a nice alternative. This was, like, I think 12 99 They do have bigger ones, but I didn't know whether I would like it. So I thought I'd start off small. Oh, made in Pakistan. Would you look at that? Uh, but I didn't know whether I would like it. So I'm going to give this a go and let you guys keep posting how I get on. I know you can get these on Amazon. I'm assuming that's like a dimmer switch. Oh, yeah. I know you can get these on Amazon as well, but I think they cost a little bit more on Amazon. So I just thought I might as well pick it up because I've been um and ahhing about it for a while. So I actually have an apron because, well, when I do cook, which is not often, I do always tend to get my clothes dirty, and especially when I'm baking and stuff. And literally, I saw this apron. It was on for like five ninety nine, and it's just a really nice one. Either I can wear it on Marcus, and I just thought I may as well pick it up because I definitely need one, and I don't know why it's taking me this long. To get one, of course, there's going to be some sort of plate. <laughs> Didn't have any nice mugs there today, but I picked up another. I now need to build up my small plate collection. Still building the larger plates. Bowls, I think I am done, I've said before. But I thought I'd pick that one, and I think it was really cute. So, these are little floss, biodegradable floss picks. And, to be honest, I've wanted to try something like this because the other floss breaks too easily for a while so i think mark's lovely i've not shown him because he just rushed out since i got in so i think he's really wanted to try these as well so i picked these up to see how we get on with them then picked myself up a new beauty blender because i was in the need of one honestly this was what 2.99 yeah 2.99 compared to 5.99 normally bog 
in. I got this because it looked and smelled really nice. It's the Bayless and Harding one. It's a goodness beautifully, beautifully clean natural bath soak, lemongrass and ginger. You guys know I'm obsessed with ginger scents. And it's got with organic extracts of orange and black pepper. Literally everything that I love. It's vegan and is dermatologic dermatologist approved so yeah i just thought i'd give this a go because i learned a little trick i don't know if you guys know this but if it says dermatologically tested everything has to be dermatologically tested but if it says dermatologist approved that's like gives it one up but yes i thought that was looked really nice i bought that because i kind of really fancy a bath tonight i ordered myself you guys follow me on instagram you listen i ordered myself a what do you call it a what are they called you know the ones where you put the essential oils in and it like the steam comes out not the steam like the mist oh my god the name has completely evaporated from my mind can't remember but i picked up this essential oil to pop in there today and try that because i want like really cool calm vibes whilst memes isn't here and honestly i can actually i can smell this through the packaging it's eucalyptus and oh it smells amazing so i can't wait to get that on it'll like smell like a real spa experience so now on to the second bag let me quickly get this out so i can show you so i picked up what this basket but i'll show you what's inside it in a second and then i also picked up one of these i've actually got one of these upstairs and honestly i love these photo frames because it's like a little book you put one there one there one there one there and i was thinking i wanted to put mia's you know professional pictures for my first birthday in there and actually have them out on display because at the moment i only have the one big one um, so I picked this up, I love it, it's an Isaac Jacobs frame and honestly they are just so nice and the one that I have upstairs has all of Mia's like newborn pics in it so it'll be nice to have like an updated one. Then I picked up this basket, so this is the basket that I told you guys I was on the hunt for, I got this for 14 99 so kind of hurt my heart a little bit because I was like oh it's tiny but it does have a lid and that's ideally what I wanted. I have a lot of everyday makeup that I don't have room to put away and then when Mia comes into my room and I'm getting re ready she just pulls it all out and it, it's all in separate like little pots and I have to move them all so I thought I'm going to get in one like decent sized basket and I can shove them all in there and she comes into my room I'll just put it out of her reach and then it'll be hassle free. So they did have bigger ones for the same price but I was like I don't need a bigger one so I just need to be sensible about this so I picked up this basket and then these are the other bits that I got. So. First of all, I picked up this. It's like a little jewellery stand. And honestly, I just thought it was so cute. And I've been needing a jewellery stand for a while. Because the one that I have at the moment, well, I don't have one. I just put them where my uh, like perfumes are. And I'm just scared of like losing them. So I thought, quite nice with the layers there. And it was on sale as well for £10. And it was 12 99 big savings but i just thought i could put like, my necklaces at the top my rings at the bottom or watches or whatever and just sort of have a nice little jewelry display upstairs on my console table in the dressing room i love that and i'm glad i found it because i originally picked up a smaller one that was like full price and i saw this in like the reduced section now of course i'm gonna end this haul on some candles oh my god you guys don't know the self-restraint i had to go through to not pick up more candles and i'm pretty sure they all smell the same <laughs> but actually let's start with the smallest one so this one oh they it was just autumn galore in home sense you guys honestly i could not resist and i could not help myself so i got maple hazelnut and oh this is just just it's that scent you guys know the sweet maple scent oh my god this is what that is and it's just so beautiful and i just thought i don't want to miss out on the candles because sometimes if you leave it too late you do end up missing out on like the autumnal candles so i'm actually going to go back at some point and stock up on even more i'm just a crazy candle person you all know this so i got that one and then honestly this all smells so similar then i got maple pancakes <laughs> this is probably why this smells so similar Honestly, this one has a bit more of a spicy scent to it than that one. So that one's like a sweet maple. This one's a bit more of a spicy maple. Just a slight tinge, but honestly, I love it. You guys, I'm so, I know I'm very basic and I'm not ashamed of it. And then I picked up this one, which is vanilla maple. <laughs> so this one is a double wick. It actually doesn't smell as strong as that one. 
Um, it's like a much more of a lighter maple scent, but still beautiful. I've got so many candles from before that I've not even burnt through yet, but I'm stocking up for like autumn, winter. You guys know it's my favourite time of year. And then this bad boy, which was Caramel Pecan. So we've moved away from the maple, but honestly, this one's warm, rich and sweet. It says fresh chopped pecan stirred with cinnamon sugar and drizzled in creamy butter caramel. Oh my God, does that not just make you drool? It's a double wick. This one almost smells like, does anybody eat? Because it's very weird to describe it. But do you remember the hot shots, like the American candy that's like, it's not aniseed, it's like cinnamon balls. It kind of smells like the aftertaste of them, which is fine, which is probably a good match because it does have cinnamon sugar in it. But honestly, oh, the strongest smelling one is actually this one, I think. No, not that one. This one. So out of all of them, I think this one actually smells strongest. I should have got this in the bigger size. Because that smells like it's just going to burn so lovely. Um, but that... Yeah, was my little candle haul. Honestly, I had to really stop myself because I was getting too, like, I'd actually put some back because I picked up too many. I just thought these are getting too similar. But I've still got, I'm still burning through. Still burning through my vanilla blueberry one, so I might pop this one on now. I want to chill in this room today and just have a nice chill day. I've just got a couple of bits to pick up, like my washing or whatnot. I'm going to sit down and edit this vlog. And yeah, that's going to be like my chill day. I need to put my little home sense haul away. But I want movies on here, probably get my puzzle out and, you know, live at large whilst I'm alone and child free, as you do, and treat myself to a bath as well. Uh, but yes, I'm going to leave it here, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all soon. Bye. Cats say bye. Nope, not bothered.